В опале береза стояла, в опале Ксения Самсонова Good morning, yay! Needs help doing everything. That's a good one. You got something in your eye. The Booker T. Washington graduate had a full ride to a fine arts college. Mm. Today, though, she colors with the help of her mom. She breathes with the help of her machine. Ksenia is just 27 years old, but she spends all day, every day, mm. in her bed, in a nursing home, surrounded by her old paintings, a sign of the potential that she once had. You see that? Remember you did that? But Ksenia likely doesn't remember. She has severe brain damage and is in a near vegetative state. God give me this child and she probably would be an amazing artist because she's so talented, you know, she's so talented. And... In 2015, Ksenia went to Parkland for surgery on her leg to repair an injury. And afterwards, while recuperating, medical records show she suddenly stopped breathing for about nine minutes. Staff found her unresponsive and in cardiac arrest. Records say nurses may have given Ksenia too much pain medicine, causing a suspected narcotic overdose. They just said, we are so sorry. We are so sorry this happened. Parkland waived Ksenia's million-dollar medical stay, but her mom, Helen, needs more financial help than that because, as you can see, Ksenia requires round-the-clock nursing home care. I've been told you are going to waste your time with us because, you know, we are government hospital. You will get nothing. You just have to walk away. So here's how this works. Since Parkland is a public hospital, it's protected under an old legal concept called sovereign immunity. Its purpose was to keep taxpayer-funded entities like public hospitals, schools, even government itself from being bankrupted by lawsuits. How often do you get medical malpractice cases against public hospitals that you can't take every week? Maria Wormington is a McKinney-based medical malpractice attorney. It has become increasingly difficult to successfully prosecute any type of a civil case against a, a, a county or a state hospital. Every time the legislature meets, it seems that uh, the screws get tightened a little bit more. If Helen took a county hospital like Parkland to court, the maximum she could get would be $100,000, which doesn't even come close to the amount she'd pay in attorney's fees. Is it your opinion that was the deliberate intent of the statute? To make there be no cases brought? Yes. No question. I mean, if I can't help them, if attorneys like me can't help them, there's nowhere for them to go in the civil justice system at all. Bottom line, Helen has no way to hold Parkland financially accountable. The hospital declined our request for an on-camera interview, nor would they answer our specific questions about Ksenia's case. But Helen isn't alone. People don't seem to know the monster that they've created within the state of Texas. Katherine Weber says a different public hospital botched her breast reduction surgery. This is what it looked like. Okay, wow. But she also has no recourse. They know they've got this get out of jail free card and they know they can do anything to anybody and there's no consequences, none. In recent years, the power of sovereign immunity has continued to expand in Texas. And with it, a study shows the number of medical malpractice suits against the state's largest public health care system has plummeted. If there's no mechanism for accountability, then what is the motivation for improvement? Not much. Helen agrees, and if her daughter could still speak, and she knows it, so she thinks she would too. You see her reaction immediately. She starts blinking eyes and everything. So, right, Ksenia? 